In early 2001, an elderly man was sent to a hospital in Wales after he was seen running around a nearby town, screaming that his shadow was trying to kill him. It, of course, was not trying to do so, and this warranted the authorities to send him to be rehabilitated after receiving numerous complaints from the residents of the town. Shortly after arriving the, at the institution, the man began screaming that his shadow was watching him, running in circles even, trying to get away from the damn thing, and <laughs> quite often too. Workers noted the behavior, such as rocking back and forth with his hands behind his head in a state of traumatic fear, clawing at his skin until blood was even drawn. They had to restrain him to make him quit it. Screaming and attempting to flee the facility was quite frequent, and numerous other acts of the sort. When eating, the man constantly moved around and moved his food as if someone was trying to steal it. Soon, the staff around him began to complain about objects in the area the man had been in being reorganized and furniture being moved. After five weeks into the man's stay, employees began to resign from their duties having not wanting anything to do with them. After they claimed, someone was whispering in an odd, old-sounding language whenever someone got close to the man. In another two weeks, the body of a nurse was found mutilated in the cafeteria by the janitor, who promptly resigned the day after. It appeared as if someone had scratched her to death, as the wounds well, were reminiscent of what an animal could deliver. At this point, local authorities became involved and the man was sent to a nearby prison. After discussing the manner with the board of directors for the asylum, were arranged for the man to be interviewed by a renowned psychic. When an officer went to get him, he was curled up, shivering in the corner of his cell, refusing to move. The police eventually carried him to the interview room by force, and the psychic begun. And when he did, he began screaming, fleeing the area after only a few minutes following the beginning of the interview. The psychic later demanded that the man be killed with no explanation. But this was unnecessary. <laughs> His corpse was found later that day in a cell, mutilated in the same way as a nurse. Also, the psychic was found dead identically a week later. But this time, there was a small slip of paper near the body, displaying the words, We are, gr we are growing tired of copying you. In a dark substance, it wasn't ink, and to this day, doctors aren't able to figure out what in the hell that thing is made out of. 